Now, the Department of Health and News just in says it has identified their age 2020 metric results or events, apologies, as super spreader events. Anyone who attended the event in Belito in Guazulu Natal between the 27th of November and the 4th of December, please be wary. Anyone who attended the rage events in December in Plettenberg Bay on November the 27th to the 5th of December, also please be wary. If you attended the rage events at Jeffreys Bay between the 26th of November and the 6th of December, please immediately go to a 10-day quarantine as well as Gauteng as well. All those parts of the country identified as super spread events. Let's just read maybe some excerpts from the statement as it came in from the Ministry of Health. It said, we wish to make an urgent announcement to all parents and learners regarding a super spread event that has been identified. The RAGE 2020 events which had been advised are uh, hosted annually to celebrate the end of matriculation took place the following. We've mentioned them. Guazul Natal, as you see that the numbers don't lie. 130,560 uh, cases reported there in the Western Cape. That one was at Belito, the 27th of the 11th, as well as the 4th of the 12th, 138,951 cases in the Western Cape. Then let's go to the Eastern Cape. Western Cape and Eastern Cape, we've been speaking about how they have become the epicenters of COVID-19, in particular that Garden Route area in the Eastern Cape. The numbers say 135,468 cases. Then as well as Gauteng, if you did attend any of these rage gatherings identified now by the health department as super spread events in Gauteng, 237,207 cases. Just to give you some stats as well. New cases, as announced yesterday in Gauteng, 554 new COVID cases. Seven new deaths came out of Gauteng. We'll take our step backwards uh, with regards to our graphics. Mel, let's check in with KZN, if we may. In Guazul Natal, we had 671 new cases reported yesterday. 82 new cases. Six deaths came out of KZN over the 24-hour cycle reported yesterday. Let's go to the Western Cape. In the Western Cape, the one we've been speaking about, 1,732 new cases. 20 new deaths coming from the Western Cape. Active cases in the Western Cape, 14,417. Let's go to the Eastern Cape. New cases as we came in through yesterday, 1,447 new cases as reported in the Eastern Cape. Although they've had recoveries of 2,867, they've had 65 deaths of the 104 new deaths reported over the 24-hour cycle. Active cases in the Eastern Cape, 8,536. As we heard there, just a notice from the Department of Health. If your kids had been part of the RAGE 2020 event, please self-isolate as it has been identified as a super spreader event. Let's speak to the numbers now. South Africa recording 4,645 new coronavirus cases in the last 24-hour cycle. This takes the total since the start of the pandemic to 810,449. Now, the health department also reported a further 104 COVID-19-related deaths. This takes the total to 22,067. Reported recoveries now stand at 744,000 leaving over 44,000 active cases across South Africa.